I'm Hollis Ava Weiner. I grew up in Washington, D.C. My husband and I moved to Texas in 1977. And I looked around and I realized this place is really quirky. You never run out of stories in Texas. My name is Bobby Callison Ravis, and my mother was Frances Callison, who's being documented in this documentary. Why is it important that we tell the stories of women? History tends to be told through the stories of, of great white men. Frances, Frances was important. Frances was writing about ranch history. She was writing about Texas Jewish history. There was talk about were there any Jews at the Alamo? She initially said no, but then she did research and, and she apologized to everybody for, you know, that she had made this mistake. She had, and she had documented who the Jews, you know, their names and everything. But I remember Rabbi Stahl making the comment, something to the effect of when it comes to Texas Jewish history, don't mess with Frances Callison. She was changing things through whatever she could. There was no maternity hospital, and so she pioneered for that. Another thing was the poll tax. She right away, you know, said, well, this isn't right. There, so she championed that cause. Our house, the telephone was just constantly ringing with all these different people from different walks of life areas calling and talking to her. The same thing with the Texas Jewish Historical Society. There's the famous quote where she said, I wanted the world to know that we're here and the things that we're doing here, that we really matter. It's the women often who notice things and take action to solve them, who improve our society and our way of life. The first Hebrew cemetery in Texas was in Galveston and it was established thanks to Rosanna. Her nephew had died. Jewish tradition, you bury other Jews only in a Jewish cemetery. She brought in a rabbi from New Orleans to consecrate a cemetery in 1852. So the importance of starting a cemetery also means that you're gonna stay. I think it's very important that this be known. I didn't even know that we had Jewish women in the early 1800s in Texas, much less what they were accomplishing and doing. In El Paso, Olga Kohlberg, babies were suffering at birth and she realized if they could only be transported up the mountain where the air was fresher, they could do well, they could breathe. Many Jewish people in Texas did serve on school boards. The thing about Ray K. Daly is that she's, she was criticized at every turn. Things really got twisted in Houston and she withstood it. She was on that school board for two decades, a brave woman. So let's see what these women were doing. Mm -hmm.